Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Time Out with Maria. I am so excited that everyone is back here today for another episode. I definitely have something special today. So we're going to kind of uh, take apart the topic of like vegetarianism and not just vegetarianism itself, but what is it and what's the difference between being a vegetarian, a vegan, and a pescatarian? Because there's all sorts of different types of eating styles and things like that out there. So I do want to introduce my guest today, whose name is Sarah. She's also a member of the Young Voters. So hi, Sarah. Hi. Thank you so much for coming on today. I am really excited because we are both vegetarians. So you're getting like the vegetarian rundown here. Yeah, I'm excited too. I mean, I think I just wanted to start off with like, what prompted you to kind of want to like live a vegetarian lifestyle? Um. Well, I went vegetarian in like February. And, well, like, obviously, Sylvia, my best friend, is vegan. So, like, I always kind of, like, had it in the back of my head. Um, But just, like, one day I was just, like, eating, you know, my normal filled with meat dinner. And I just, like, couldn't do it anymore. And I just, like, told my parents, like, I'm going vegetarian. And, that yeah, that's basically it. I feel like we all kind of, you know, have that moment where we're, like, oh my god meat ew like you can't even stomach it you're like what am I eating this is disgusting no yeah like I felt nauseous <laughs> like that's not normal so yeah no definitely I mean even growing up as a kid like my parents would always say like that I was such a picky eater and I was just like picky and eating in general and that I would never like eat any meat or anything but then I came to realize that I was literally like an unlabeled vegetarian <laughs> <laughs> and not until like a year ago I kind of like really put a label on like my eating habits um but yeah I mean when I was younger I used to sit down at the dinner table with my family and they'd like put meat on the table and I said I can't eat this like I it just I don't like it how it tastes in my mouth and the, the consistency and I know it sounds a little crazy no I agree I and it, same thing. and people were like make fun of me too like Maria, why aren't you eating meat? What they'd make fun of you? Yes, that's so weird, bro. Even like still, when I go out to restaurants with my friends, um, I remember we all went out to like, oh my gosh, what is it called? PJs, and you know how they have like wing night on Tuesdays. Yeah. So we all went out to wing night, and when I tell you PJs is not vegetarian friendly, they do not have anything. Oh my I god. Could eat. And it was, like, 10 of my friends there, and we all sitting at a big table, and they all got wings, obviously. And I was like, guys, like, I can't eat this. There's literally nothing I can eat. They don't even have salad there. What? Yeah. It's literally, like, burgers, fries, and wings. Oh, and steak. I know. And that's what everyone else around me was eating. So I got nachos, which, like, I had to get all the meat taken off. Literally just, like, stripped down to, like, cheese and chip basically yeah. and they're like oh my god like you're so picky like why can't you just eat meat it's wing night and I feel like I don't know I just have been like very pressured in a way just yeah. because of like how society is and how like a lot of people eat meat especially with like Chick-fil-a and everything true yeah no like my dad was like kind of the same way like after I was like I'm going vegetarian he thought I was joking like the next night he was like I'm making burgers for dinner I was like I'm not eating that and he was like what do you mean like just eat it like it'll make you like feel good I was like no 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 it'll make you feel good I know oh my god what is that that made me laugh like I mean like I touched on this slightly in my last episode with just talking about the environmental impacts that the meat industry has on the planet. Yeah. And it's crazy. It's so bad. It's terrible. And yeah. I mean, like, I've, I thought about it too, and I was like, there's some vegetarian things that are bad too, like, like almond milk and like palm mm-hmm. oil, terrible for the environment, but not oh as God. bad as meat will ever be. No, like, you're right. It's, like, the worst thing for the environment. It's so terrible. Yeah, and, I mean, last week, like, Nico and I slightly touched on the whole idea of, like, confined feedlots and how all those animals, especially cows, are just, like, standing in their own manure. Oh, my God. And that's that's how, like, meat poisoning happens a lot of times, too. And just to think about it, and there's, like, people who, I mean, everyone 
can have their opinions and I respect everyone whether you are vegetarian vegan pescatarian or not like I respect everyone for their food choices I just mm-hmm. think it's disgusting same <laughs> <laughs> I mean that was kind of one of the reasons why I went vegetarian too because like I just couldn't stop thinking about like animals just sitting and just waiting to be murdered or like waiting to be like <laughs> murdered wrapped up so they can get milk out of them like I I hate it I hate thinking about it so much yeah and I think it's like a little different because um <clears throat> with like animals that um provide dairy or like eggs and things like that because i do eat eggs and i i try not to like eat a lot of dairy products um for instance i drink like i drink like soy milk um and i like buy vegan yogurt at the store but i can't like not have cheese i absolutely love cheese like (laughs) cheese on bread and cheese and crackers and like oh my gosh like the charcuterie like all that charcuterie (laughs) I just I couldn't go without it so being a a vegan is like I think a little too difficult for me like not within my reach yeah I mean I think same I think maybe at some point I could get there for me like I never really liked eggs that much and I don't Mm -hmm. eat too much cheese I just kind of cut down on all that stuff and obviously for milk I drink oat milk now Mm. um but expensive I know it's so expensive for literally no reason to right but then it's like baking. Like I bake so much, and mm-hmm. it is so hard to bake veg- yeah. uh, vegan. Uh, I tried and I failed multiple times. <laughs> but like I think at some point I can get there, just yes. not now. <laughs> no, and I think it has to do with like technology advancing as well because they have they have like vegan burgers and veggie burgers, and mm-hmm. I've actually had a fair amount of them, and they are really good. Yeah, they are. There's different types. Like, I think they, they have soy burgers, but they also have burgers that literally have vegetables in them. Yeah. Which is interesting. And then there's, like, whole plant-based meat. Like, I went to this restaurant a few days ago, and it was an entire vegan restaurant, but, like, they had meat that was plant-based. Like, on the menu, it said, like, a chicken sandwich. And you're ordering it because you're scared because you're like, is it going to mm-hmm. be real chicken? This is so weird. But then it ends up being all plant-based, and it tastes so good. Like, I think it's called, mm, wait, oh, the Greyhound Cafe. It's in, like, Malvern. Okay, I'll have to try it because that sounds so good. Dude, like, bring all of your meat-eating friends because they will, like, convert. Convert. (laughs) They better convert. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) No, but that I'll have to go because there are not like a lot of good vegan places around here, and there's like smoothie bars and stuff like that. But I find a lot of the time it's so overpriced for what. Oh you're yeah, doing. definitely. And like even like Kimberton Whole Foods. Oh my gosh, everything they're so overpriced. Yeah, it's so expensive, and at the same time, like really, really like depends on what you're buying. When I go there, I usually get like vegetables and stuff, and. I usually get um like a vegan these like it's like pirate's booty but it's like a vegan I don't know my sister really likes those so I always get those for her but I'm usually like under thirty dollars for all the stuff I get but I always get like small things and then I'm always doing shopping for myself because the rest of my family isn't are not vegetarian yeah no, I but, mean um, same yeah like I like make some of my own dinners a lot of the time yeah me too. it's it's weird but like it's kind of it's kind of good I kind of like knowing what I'm eating no me too like you know what you're putting into your food and even like not just like making your own dinner but like with baking especially mm-hmm. because so many bakeries put like tons of preservatives in like their cakes and their pastries and they don't tell you but like I don't know. Yeah. You probably wouldn't want to be eating that. No, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> it's probably really bad for you. Yeah, 100%. And that's the thing that I think a lot of people don't get. Like, even though what you're eating, like, might taste good, like meat, like, it might taste good now. But thinking about it and thinking about all the stuff in it mm-hmm. and all of just, like, the actions that got it to your table, I just, like, it's not worth it in my head. I don't know. I, like, I agree so much, like, the whole process of like the meat industry makes me shudder and like people aren't even aware of it neither yeah like I don't know if people just choose not to educate themselves or they just don't really want to know I mean that may be the cause because then they will be like 
oh shit, well, I am putting bad things into my body and these things are hurting the planet. Yeah. No, like I remember like in like in one of our group chats, someone said, like, humans are naturally omnivores. So oh I'm gonna God. keep eating my meat. And I was like, hey, like in this day and age, like, yeah, maybe naturally humans are omnivores, but it's like healthier now for you to be a vegetarian or a vegan mm-hmm. than to like eat meat all the time because when it comes to you know an omnivore lifestyle or whatever you don't eat that much meat like we eat way too much meat as a society and not just no, like we do. not just in like the grand scheme just like every day we eat too much meat and it's so bad for our bodies that's why people have heart attacks all the time because all that cholesterol and Mm -hmm. in that red meat it's just it's really not even good for you you're like not an omnivore anymore no it's just a carnivore and it's it's really bad and if you think about it like some meats are so fatty and the fats are like higher than the protein levels yeah you're putting more fat in than protein you're actually getting from eating it yeah i didn't even think about that yeah, that was something I just recently learned. Um, I've been like watching a lot of documentaries on this because one of my um, past teachers assigned a bunch of them during the past school year, but they were so fascinating to me. Same. Like, unbelievable. Like the things that, that I, I didn't even know as a vegetarian. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I don't know like anything at all as a vegetarian, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm trying to learn more. I mean, don't shame yourself. Like, we're all on the path to, like, learn about more about, like, what's around us. And, you know, there's not, there's nothing wrong with still learning because we're all still learning in a way. True. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> of course. So something I wanted to touch on was what is the difference between being a vegan, a vegetarian, and a pescatarian? Um, well, because a pescatarian eat doesn't eat, wait, they do eat fish. Yeah. <laughs> so a pescatarian doesn't eat, like, beef or anything like that, but they eat fish. But, okay, like, do you know why? Did you research why? No, I don't understand. I think it might be, like, a religious, um, in some religions. I know, definitely, like, because in Christianity, it's a thing because, like, Okay, you know in Lent how, like, on Fridays you can't eat meat? Yeah, or, like eat even Yeah, but they eat fish. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's supposed to – I think it's supposed to be, like, where mm-hmm. – like, in the Middle East, mm-hmm. fish wasn't that, like – it was pretty rare to get fish on your table. So, like, it wasn't really fasting and it wasn't really, you know, taking something good away from the table. It was just kind of – I don't know how to describe it. Uh, because it wasn't that rare, more people, like, would eat it during Lent as a treat, I guess? I don't know. Maybe this is all wrong. But... No, I think it I think it really depends on geographical location, because I know that um, in a lot of, in, like, in Hinduism, I think that um, most people who do believe in Hinduism and follow those beliefs um, are pescatarian. Oh, really? Yeah um not everyone obviously but just from people that I've interacted with at school and things like that I've kind of like gotten a feel for it and obviously like everyone's different because it really just like depends on your family and I think that people like you and me who kind of like branch off and go our own way and we're like no we aren't going to eat that meat we're going to do our own thing and that puts a lot of pressure on us because if you think about it we're stepping away from the norm and we're not doing what everyone else around us is doing. So it's kind of like, oh my gosh, am I going to be judged? That type of thing. Just being different. And being different is scary. I mean, and not even just with like your eating, but how you like present yourself. I yeah. Think it's it's definitely an interesting topic. But Yeah, I feel like whenever I tell people like I'm vegetarian now, they're kind of just like, oh, so you're, like, a tree hugger. And I'm like, okay, maybe I am a tree hugger, but that has nothing to do with who I am as a person. And, like, I don't know. It's just kind of weird how people, like, judge you for, like, liking the environment. Like, what? (laughs) Since when is that, like, a weird thing? I don't know. No, I mean, I agree. Why do people make it a trend that you need to be a tree hugger in order to, you know, want to eat healthier? And or even people who are just cutting down on their beef and 
they eat like chicken instead of beef yeah like that's just being like educated yeah environmentally aware almost yeah so when i look at it and people kind of like not make fun of me but poke fun at me um especially like my family like when we go out to eat and they go oh we have to find something that maria likes you have you know we have to make sure because they're kind of like making fun of me because i am a vegetarian i'm like don't worry like i'll find something there's always there's always a way but i do i do find that struggle especially when i'm not like going out with my friends who like are also like vegans or vegetarians it's hard for me to kind of find something that I can eat especially if we're eating at like a Mexican place I usually just get like a burrito but with no chicken or something like that because it still has everything in it like all those other proteins and it's really good yeah no I agree like my family goes to like the same restaurants like we don't really switch it up at all and after I went vegetarian like that didn't change and so there's like one sandwich at every restaurant that I can like eat Unless I want to get a salad, which, like, oh, I'm never in the mood for. So, like, it's kind of sad because I have to eat, like, the same things over and over again. But I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's difficult to branch out, especially with food, because there's so many, like, ingredients and plants you can, like, put in your pasta or, like, put in pasta salad or anything like that because I do eat a lot of pasta because I don't, like, know a ton of alternatives. And I tried spaghetti squash this one time, but I don't know. There's something about it. I don't really like it. (laughs) Yeah, no, I eat pasta so much now. Like, that's my main food group. Yeah, carbs. I mean, mean, I'm okay with it. It's just, like, sad sometimes. Sometimes I just don't want pasta. And then, like, what do I do? I I just need to be able to cook better. Yeah, I mean, there are so many, like, Instagrams out there of like vegan vegetarian like instagrams that have recipes but then you look at the recipe and you're like oh my gosh this looks so good and you look at all the ingredients and you're like i literally have none of this in my house besides the box of pasta yeah and like a lot of it like oh target doesn't even have it mm-hmm. like what do i do how do i get these like, things i don't feel like driving to whole Foods and spending 50 dollars on ingredients for one meal yeah and then what if it ends up being bad exactly well you're like well this didn't work and then you end up wasting all that money yeah, and all that food. It just goes against everything you believe in, all the, like, yeah. environmental things. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, with the whole food waste, so much meat um, and poultry is wasted every single year because it, it, can't, it can't keep. Yeah. Like, like, it's just too overproduction. I know, it's so much, and it all just gets spoiled so fast. Or, like, even just, like, fats in food, like, all mm-hmm. of that just gets thrown away. Yeah. I mean, I know they have, like, a lot of, like, freezer type of meats, like the Tyson chicken tenders and Mm -hmm. chicken tendies (laughs) and uh, the chicken nuggets, but um, I, so much preservative, so much salt, so much sodium. Oh, yeah, they're so bad. (laughs) They're so bad. Like, if they, if you, if you do find a way to save it and have it not expire, you have to load so much of these, like, not like chemicals but things that you and I probably would not want to put in our bodies yeah and then it's just even unhealthier because it's even more meat in one week and it's just oh my god it's so bad for you. Uh, I know but the whole salad thing with ordering salads at restaurants I've ordered salads at restaurants pretty frequently and for some reason they are huge for no reason at all they're so big <laughs> mm-hmm. like I don't understand I can usually only eat like a half or a fourth of it and it's in this like humongous bowl like this yeah. actual pasta bowl exactly like I would always get salad at this one place I would go to and it would be bigger than like my parents like entrees like it's huge mm-hmm. I don't know why they make it so big I mean I guess like thank I you understand. but <laughs> or they'll, like if it's not on a bowl they'll like load it onto a plate and you're trying to like scoop it up with the fork and like the lettuce is falling <laughs> off the plate and the tomatoes are rolling oh my god it's so problematic it is for, for vegetarians it's okay well we'll learn to cope <laughs> but um i did want to you know go back to the kind of our definitions of all the different types of i don't know what you would call this like food categorization <laughs> eating patterns yeah i guess i guess that's a good way to put it yeah i don't, I don't know much 
eating patterns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds politically correct. <laughs> but um, yeah, so pescatarian is like meat and no fish. Even though fish has meat, it's it's okay. Oh, wait, wait, it's, wait. Yeah. Is it the other way around? It's fish but no meat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're right. You're right. It could have been bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for catching me. Oh my gosh. My yeah, no, okay. Pescatarian, it okay. We talked about it as the fast second, but it confuses yeah. me so much. No, like me too. I just but then people say like, oh but mish oh my god, fish <laughs> isn't me. And I like what? what do you mean? <laughs> It is me. Like, elaborate on that. Like, why? Why isn't it me? And then they never have an answer. They're just like, it's just They're not. Like, they, don't, they don't give an explanation. And you're like, yeah. I used to work at a sushi restaurant in Exton. And this is how I know 100% that fish have meat. Because I would see every day, like, the big truck of fish would come into the restaurant. And, like, all the chefs would line up. And they would inspect the fish. And you would think that oh these like these you know shippers who bring the fish would just have like you know like a little pieces of salmon or whatever no it's the actual fish oh my god like it's the actual fish over like ice ew it probably smells really bad but that's what that's the point yeah and they would have to like gut the entire fish for all the meat and you wouldn't realize how much meat is in a fish really they're so tiny though it, it depends like what type of fish these fish they're bringing in were like huge like probably bigger than like my shoulder width Ew. i know so that is there is definitely meat and fish <laughs> um but i think that eating eating fish is an alternative to like beef and pork and chicken is definitely better because i mean there's less of an environmental impact and the only thing you have to really worry about is overfishing. True. Because there are some some parts where there are scarce amount of fish and kind of like aquatic life. So I think that can pose an issue, like especially with fish markets and just big fish industries. But yeah. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, I like I think I agree. Like obviously, like that's like one of the biggest points. Also, just like a lot of boats litter a lot. Like, oh my there's so many, like, nets just in the ocean. And obviously, like, boats use a lot of gas. So, I mean, okay, there's, like, no way to be 100% environmental, environmentally friendly, but it just Carbon makes me sad, you know? No, it makes me sad, too. And there are actually, like, are a lot of electric boats, but, I mean, it really depends, like, how old the boat is. And I know that a lot of boats are turning to electric, but at the same time, where's that electric power coming from facts yeah so it's just like it all comes back to like one one source it's, it's kind of interesting how that works yeah but um i mean yeah i like fish and uh, being a vegetarian it's actually like sometimes really hard for me to not eat fish really i'm the opposite i never really liked fish at all like sushi really? i would always have vegetarian sushi so mm. like i guess yeah. i'm lucky on that one I mean, I don't know. I just like learned. To, I don't. For some reason, I just r- really um, liked fish, and I think that I probably would describe myself as a pescatarian in the past. But then I said, nope. Like I really need to not eat fish. So it is my like weak point. I for some reason, especially like if you're down in the south, like on the water, and they have like the fishy the fisheries, and they like bring the fish in right from the ocean. So, yeah. Oh, I, I know it's like really bad to say. <laughs> no, like because I don't, I don't want to eat them, but it's really, really hard to resist sometimes. No, I totally get it. Like, I mean, I'm a new, newly vegetarian person. It, it gets difficult sometimes. No, it really is. Those daunting Chick Fil A sandwiches. I know. I because my okay, my sister works at Chick Fil A. My brother is literally applied to Chick Fil A today. Mm-hmm. There's so much Chick Fil A in my house, and I can't eat any of it. And it's, like, it's sad. Out of here, I can't deal with it. I know, and like I just want to just smell it, and I just want it, and I just have to think. The chicken sandwich, mm. it's it's so good. No, oh, I know, and 
my parents were like, we're getting Chick-fil-A for dinner tonight. Do you want anything? They're like, oh, wait, you can't eat there. Oh, <gasps> that is evil. <laughs> Why would they funny. do that? It's funny. Oh, no, but um, I always, when I got the chicken sandwich, I would always get like the side of fruit because I would feel super guilty. Yeah, well, I would always get um the salad. They have such good salads there really? like you wouldn't think it's probably filled with terrible things that's probably why it's so good yeah. but i would get like a salad with chicken strips in it Ooh. so i mean i guess maybe i can just get the salad without the chicken strips that's okay that's okay okay <laughs> my thing with chick-fil-a is that i've kind of been like trying to figure out is is it gmo chicken oh okay. Think about how much chicken, you know, when you drive past the Chick-fil-A in Downingtown or in Exton, there's always like such a long line that's literally into the street. And yeah. you think like, how do they have this much chicken? How are their suppliers getting them this much chicken at such a rapid rate? Right? Because they're they're producing so much and they have to sell a ton. So like the only thing I can think of is it, it has to be GMO, but it probably is. I mean, it's a fast food place. Mm-hmm. Does it say anywhere that's not? Hey, maybe I can Google it. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> because I've never seen it like say like non-GMO on any of the the like bags or stuff. You know that they give out when they give you like a chicken sandwich or like little Chick Fil A like bags. Yeah. Um, it says Chick Fil A doesn't have GMO. It says it's GMO yeah. free. Is that on the Chick Fil A website? Yeah, from since twenty fourteen they are oh wait are they just offering it i'm so confused I'm, mm, that's weird oh they're talking about the apple slices okay what <laughs> <laughs> okay i think it's just the apple slices and the greek yogurt parfait which i didn't even know they had yeah well, but it says they don't use antibiotics for the chicken interesting huh okay well that's that's a little strange like I guess just, like, overproduction in a lot of, like, farms. Yeah, I guess. That would make sense. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Dude, I know. Okay. So, (laughs) what is a vegan? Ooh. You're asking me? Yes. Okay. A vegan is someone who only eats plant-based food. So, no meat and no, like... Dairy products, no eggs, no eggs. No, like milk, yeah, no cheese, no cheese. Oh, your charcuterie! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> they have vegan cheese. Yeah, but apparently it's really bad. Oh God. Yeah. Probably just like tofu. <laughs> tofu. I like tofu. Though. I do too. I actually really like tofu yeah. for no reason. Sylvie's like, brother Jack, he mm-hmm. makes really good tofu. Like he made it for me. You like should- fried tofu. I don't know what he does i'm not gonna lie i can't cook for the life of me i can bake really well but i can't cook at all cooking is hard it's so hard i just like saute things and it's just too much for me yeah like he was telling me his process and it was so long i was like oh my god <sighs> no yeah but i but i just brought it up because i think a lot of vegetarians and vegans don't like tofu and they always like are just mean about it I'm like, it's, so it's kind of good it's kind of good no, it is good, and it gets so much hate for literally what reason? I know. Just like vegan cheese, but I've never had it, so I can't really. Did Sylvia tell you it was bad? She said it was so bad. <laughs> but the thing is, okay, if, have you been to Snap Pizza? No, but I know what you're talking about. Uh, it's so good. But um, they have, like, really good, like, inclusive options for vegetarians and vegans, and even gluten-free. That's awesome. That's point. Yeah, it's really awesome. But, um... Yeah, she doesn't even get the vegan cheese there. Like, she, she'll get a pizza without any cheese on it. Ew. I know, it's it's kind of sad. So uh, strange. So, um, yeah. I, I Maybe we should try the cheese together at some point. Yeah, no, we should do it. We should take a trip to the, the Whole Foods. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't even know. Like, my, like, my super struggle is, like, finding new things to eat same and even like with school lunches i can't eat any of like the school provided lunches because this year you know how our school district did the all the lunches were free mm-hmm. i couldn't even eat them because when i even when i went back to school for the few months that i was there after your um like 
were not any like virtual anymore. Yeah. And everything was like meat, meat, meat. And oh. I got one salad option and it was like chicken. Oh. Oh yeah, like the prepackaged salad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God. I miss how it used to be because they used to have like um like a serve yourself kind of like pasta station and then salad station. Yeah, I would go to the salad station all the time. Yeah, Those salads are actually, like, really good. Yeah, they would have, like, hard-boiled eggs. I would eat a lot of those. Oh, I don't like hard-boiled eggs. See, I don't like the inside. Oh, you just like, like, the white part? Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It has, like, a weird consistency, so I always, like, scoop it out with a spoon. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can get that. Um, Yeah, I don't really like eggs, like, at all. Like, I only eat eggs if it's in, like, a like egg and cheese bagel sandwich like i had one of those today and it like was like a mouth yeah it was so good but i like i don't know i can't eat eggs otherwise because it's just it tastes too much like egg yeah they, really- they have a weird taste by themselves yeah. definitely very strange like i i love like an egg and cheese like on a hoagie roll oh my god it's so good yeah i know right because of the cheese and it's all like warm and <laughs> yeah no, like, I, I got one today, and they messed up my order, so I had to go back. It was the saddest thing in the world. But I ate it in the car, Where were and you? the cheese was so hot, and it was so oh. good. Like, that's that's the one time that I'm like, I could hungry. never go vegan. <laughs> no. Because you just, like, you can't get the same thing. I know. And think about it. If it's hard for just vegetarians to find places where like we can eat think about how hard it is for vegans yeah friendly restaurants oh my god it's so hard no it is and i think that only now they're starting to really like open up places that are vegan friendly because not that like being a vegan or vegetarian is a trend Mm -hmm. but like it's starting to become one yeah for that reason Mm mm-hmm Sorry, I was just going to say, like, it has its, like, benefits and its, like, downfalls because I know a lot of people who went vegetarian for, like, a week and then stopped. And, like, obviously I get, like, try it, but, like, it just makes me sad because people want to join the trend, but then they, like, realize they don't like it instead of, like, researching or anything and just, like, actually committing, you know? Yeah, and I was trying to get my sister to actually go vegetarian for a week now that you bring it up. And she literally caved in the first day. Really? Mm-hmm. She oh, my God. Do it. Gotta have willpower. I know. I will say it's very difficult in the beginning. Like, first, like, month, it was hard. But now it's, it's so Yeah, easy. I mean, it really depends. Like, especially if you're, like, a heavy beef eater or chicken, like, right. consumer. That, that would be difficult. But, I mean, like I said, my real issue was the fish. Because I've never really eaten like ate me my entire life yeah I guess I was like the opposite like when I was a kid like I I really like meat like my sister Mm -hmm. was kind of like you like she only liked hot dogs and that was it (laughs) like anything else um yummy (laughs) so um yeah like my parents were really surprised even when I like said I was going vegetarian so yeah it was kind of weird no I mean I it's it's definitely like a different thing it's a it's a whole new world but I mean I actually lost like a lot of weight because I started eating better really yeah and I just like felt better about myself yeah like mentally and people would always like come to me and be like Maria like are you sure you're getting like enough proteins and all that stuff and I started taking a lot of new vitamins to make sure I'm getting all the proteins I need Mm-hmm. but um like just like working out consistently and eating food that I know is gonna make me feel good it just really helped me like mentally I mean I don't know if it's had like a similar impact on you um well I mean okay when I started going vegetarian I got like injured in my sport so I guess maybe I wouldn't have the same experience as you, but yeah. definitely, like, I feel better. Like, my skin feels better after I stopped eating meat. Like, just my hair even feels better. Like, yeah. everything like that. Maybe it's just hindsight bias and I'm going crazy, but I don't know. It just, like, maybe it's just, like, my mindset knowing that I'm not eating meat makes me feel better about myself. 
So it's like I'm kind yeah. of manifesting good skin into my life or something. That's a total possibility. <laughs> I think um like I I noticed similar stuff with myself as well. Like I have wavy hair, but then once I like really committed to like stop eating meat, I think back in September, so almost a year, I've been like, Wow, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like a really cool but um like um, I had wavy hair but now my hair is like so much nicer and it has like so much volume and it's like even like wavier than it was before so I think that the hair thing is in hindsight bias and about like skin that's like all about how much water we drink so if you're drinking more water you're gonna have nicer skin and I think that also it might have to do with like the meat you might be consuming as well because if you consume meat that has like all those um really like not bad chemicals I don't want to say chemicals but um like preservatives and things like that it's gonna dry out your skin totally yeah no and then also like even like when I went vegetarian I also stopped eating uh cow milk not eating drinking yeah me too um and like I I read somewhere that cow milk well I guess like you know you know everything you drink goes through your skin when you sweat yeah so like apparently people in different countries like europe or even like asia they say that americans smell like spoiled milk because the cow milk is like going through your pores and you're sweating it out so like maybe that's a part of it i've never heard about that i know when i heard it it, like it blew my mind it makes sense but it's just so weird because like you know the got milk program they not a lot of people sorry what (laughs) do they not drink milk they just drink less milk like the uh just like the dairy industry in america just like pushes people drinking milk saying that you know it's like better for you and it makes you stronger which it does but it does the same if you drink oat milk or almond milk or soy Mm -hmm. milk or anything like that um so just like more americans drink it and more americans like have their kids drink it like my dad like he every night at dinner he's like go get milk and i'm like i don't want it i don't want it dad please and he's like you're drinking milk it'll make you taller and i'm like i think i'm just tall because you're tall what is going on (laughs) like yeah oh my gosh that makes me laugh because i think that i mean even after traveling overseas i see a huge difference in the food regulations here versus there yeah and I, it's, it's crazy because even if you just like have like a piece of bread or butter, it tastes completely different. I know. Or like even American chocolate apparently yeah. tastes, well, I mean, I've had like European chocolate, but when Europeans eat American chocolate, they, they gag. Like really? it tastes so gross to them because the milk. Mm, yeah. And also like the sugars too. True. I don't know. I don't like chocolate. <laughs> what so <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> i just i'm not a fan I, mean, I, just, it t- I don't know like i don't know i don't like how it smells and like tastes yeah it's really weird huh. but it, it's but it, i don't know it's bizarre because i'll eat like a reese's peanut butter cups uh but that's like <laughs> mostly peanut butter uh, yeah it is and i'll have like some brownies i'm very like specific and choosy about the brownies but my mom has this a really really good recipe and i'll eat those brownies oh yeah i love brownies i make them like every week you were telling me you were trying out a new recipe oh. for vegan brownies yesterday yeah like they taste really good but the texture is so off like mm-hmm. it tastes like grainy what did you put in them i don't even know i couldn't really tell you like they're from scratch right so yeah. like there's like I think I just added too much flour or something because I also had to use gluten free flour because Sylvie is gluten free. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just used that regular regular ingredients like sugar and instead of um, eggs, you had to use oh, what are they called? Oh my god, this is gonna be so sad. Wait, I'm gonna go look it up. Yeah, I don't know the alternative. Uh, well, because like you needed egg whites. Oh. It was chickpea oil. That's what it was. It's called aquafaba huh i know i don't know so <laughs> but, that's what makes me interested because all of the oils that we consume is that coming from palm oil um i don't know i don't I know so many questions <laughs> i think i wish we had like a like specialist or something that we could talk to oh i wish 
because another documentary I watched, (laughs) it was about deforestation and about like how I think in Asia and South America and Central America, they were tearing down these, these palm, these palm oil trees and just taking all of the oil and they were leaving nothing. Like they were just deforesting this all. And that takes away from so many animals, habitats. And I never realized like that palm oil isn't so many things. So I'm going to like, what things is it in? (laughs) I don't even know. Hold on. I'll search it up. What is palm oil in? This is so scary. Because, like, I knew it was bad, but I always just thought it was, like, don't get palm oil. I never really thought about all the other things that it's in. Okay. Um, it says food products, detergents, cosmetics, and biofuel. Let's oh. see here. Which everyday products contain palm oil? This is from the WWF, by the way. Okay, pizza dough. P- oh, my gosh, pizza dough. <laughs> a lipstick. Instant noodles, shampoo, ice cream, detergent, margarine, chocolate. Oh my gosh. Cookies. See, that's the thing How? about like oh all like palm oil and like that is a lot of things. Bad. They're in so many things. Like, how do you stop using it? And then it, it says like, many products that use palm oil aren't clearly labeled. Palm oil and its derivatives can appear under and many names, including vegetable oil. oil oh, Vegetable oil, vegetable fat, palm kernel, palm kernel oil, palm fruit oil. Sarah, like, what are your thoughts on palm oil? Um, It's just, like, it's so weird because it's in everything, and it's, like, so bad for the environment, but it's, like, you can't get rid of it. Like, it's in your life no matter what. It's so hard. Yeah, and it's in so many products, so it's kind of irritating how you're like, no, I don't want to use it because it's tearing, it's making, like, so many issues. Yeah. But I think that it comes to a point there where we don't even, like, have a choice as much. Yeah, it's kind of like plastic, how it's, it's just in your life. Like, mm-hmm. even if you, want, like, try and go plastic-free, it is the most difficult thing ever because the amount of things you can't use, like, your life is basically just, like, blank. Yeah, and with the whole plastic thing, I try not to use, like, plastic baggies and things like that. Mm-hmm. I try to use, like, Tupperwares for everything, especially even when I, like, pack lunch when I go to school. I'm like, Tupperware, Tupperware, Tupperware. <laughs> Don't want to use plastic bags. So, I yeah, think we're coming – yeah. I mean, I think we're coming to um, a really good end of t- today's episode. I mean, is there anything else you wanted to add? Um, Not really. I think that about sums it up. Or I guess go vegetarian. Everyone. Go vegetarian. Woo. <laughs> or even just less beef. Yeah. Just do it for your body and do it for the world. Oh, exactly. And honestly, you will see a change. Yeah, definitely. Like, all right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Sarah. Thank you for having me, Maria. Of course, my pleasure. <laughs> I hope you guys all really enjoyed this episode. I had a ton of fun making it. And I really hope that after hearing what we have to say about, you know, kind of the the vegetarian lifestyle, you might be more encouraged to change your way of life or your eating patterns. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.